So in this third video, I'm just going to go through face mending the top of the stock. So I need to go to my tool paths, the face. Again, we'll just go for the default name on here. Um, what you'll notice is slightly different now is you can have either solids or wireframe selection. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to go select OK to use the defined stock. OK, going to select my tool, select the library tool, make sure that my filter is just looking for face mills. And I'm looking for a 63 millimeter diameter face mill. So double clicking to my cutting diameter, my length, uh, next page, tool number 11. So my cutting speed is 300, feet per tooth 0.1, number of flutes 7. And finish. So a comment. So I'm going to go to my cut parameters, change my style to zigzag, make a, a cross overlap 15%. The approach distance a uh, 20%, exit distance 20%, max step over I might go to 80% of the cutter, and uncheck even number of passes, rough between cuts with high speed loops, and the feed rate on the loop is going to be say 5000. Start to leave on the floors is zero. Depth cuts, no, I don't want to do this in a number of cuts. I've only got one mil to take off the top. Okay, so my linking parameters, I generally have my retract plane as an absolute value, always knowing that I'm retracting above the top of the job. Um, my feed plane here is set to two mil incremental. That will be two millimeters above the top of the stock. The top of the stock is set to absolute zero and the depth is set to absolute zero. Okay, so just again, always be mindful that uh, Mastercam represents Rapids as yellow lines and feeds as blue lines. I'm just going to do a quick back plot on this. So I'll back plot with a display tool and quick verify. And you can see here then, obviously, as I drag my mouse across the top, that's a rapid move. Then there's a feed. The orange circle now represents the cutting area of the 63 mil face mill. Okay, um, and it turns orange when it actually gets down to final depth. So if I drag it across here, this is my cross overlap here. Um, I think I have it set to 15%, which is from the red line, which represents the stock. So there's a 15% overhang basically of the cutter there. Again, just if I was to look down at the top, you might remember that I've put on a high speed loop between the moves. So again, I have to make sure that the orange circle which is represented where my cursor is here so that I'm actually have come off fully off the side of the block before I do the high speed loop otherwise it will be cutting at a much faster feed rate okay so then I have a second pass across the middle and then a third pass with again 15% overlap and my high speed loop is well clear